Hi everyone, it's Millie. So, prior to filming this video, I sat down and was like, you know what, I feel like doing a full face of makeup, like eyelashes and everything. So I sat down, did that makeup, and me being me, then proceeded to have a four hour nap. And now here we are, with that same makeup on, but still slightly destroyed. Or very destroyed. Also, just thought I'd say one thing, because I am really, really, really excited. So, if you've been watching my main channel videos for a while, you'll know that my first ever merch release drop is coming very, very, very soon, within like, less than a week. But it took so long because I kept sending back the designs, having new ideas, but now the design's set in stone. I'm so happy with it. Here's a massive clue. This is only one part of the merch, though. There's another bit to it, too. So if you do want to grab the merch when it's released, which is going to be in a few days, literally, make sure you follow me on my social medias because I'll be announcing it there, especially Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Well, there's only them three, really, isn't there? Okay, on to the video now. That intro was way too long-winded. eBay fake shoes. Fake designer shoes. I've been so interested in this, especially the Yeezys. So, we're just going to get straight into the video now and start unboxing the shoes and see what we got. Oh, these are Valentinos. Uh, so this brand didn't actually sell them, I might be hurt, sorry, as original Valentinos. They've just made a shoe look as close to Valentinos as they could without getting done for copyright. They are not bad. They are not bad at all. I just do want to also say that I'm absolutely obsessed with that colour. And the heels, not as metallic as the rest of the shoe, but I really like the look of that. The soles, like a deep black colour as well. I really like these. Although I already know that they would be so uncomfortable to wear, especially because they're heels. Let's see what they look like on. I can't tell whether I'm actually hungry or whether I thought about food so much that I'm making myself believe that I'm hungry. Um, that just happened. I was trying to adjust it and it just came off the entire shoe. Let's pretend that one doesn't exist and let's try the other one. So here's the shoe. And the reason why I keep getting in such an awkward position to show you the shoe is because I am way too lazy to refilm this part separately. And that's probably the reason why I'm not on a million subscribers yet. Subscribe if you're not already. We're getting there. Yeah, um, the shoe... Ow! Those studs are brutal. Ow, they're actually pointy. Don't ever get in a fight with a girl wearing Valentinos because she will take that bitch off and slap you across the face with it and you'll be going to hospital with some vehicles. Ow, that is actually quite brutal. Can't remember what shoes I ordered here. Yes, I can! Um, they are so well made. Oh, I've just felt them. They are not well made whatsoever, but they are so, so realistic looking. Okay, I paid eight dollars for these. Right, these are the fake Balenciagas. I was so shocked when I saw them. The design of everything about them is so realistic looking. However, when you actually hold them in your hand, they are so light. The material is just not good quality whatsoever, which you'd obviously expect. The whole concept of this video is just to see how fake these shoes are. But in terms of fake shoes, these are not bad whatsoever. They definitely have paid attention to detail though. Look at the sole on the real shoe. There's a lot of individual squares and it's textured. And then on the fake ones, there's also a lot of individual squares, but these ones just aren't textured. I don't know if you can see the difference between them, but that's actually really good. And there are other things that are slightly different, like the netting on the front of the shoe is a lot more sparse than the originals. The laces are different colors, and also the sides don't come up as far and just don't feel good quality whatsoever. Something else, oh, something else I do want to mention, I'm really, really sorry to interrupt the video again, but I do have a vlog channel if you don't know about it, but it's linked in the description, and the reason I'm telling you this, like, it's not just a random self-promo, well, it, like, kind of is, but let's ignore that. Anyway, um, so, <laughs> by the time you're watching this video, I will be in Paris, and I'm going to be vlogging my Paris trip, because I'm literally going in two days, so if you do want to see what I get up to in Paris, just make sure you follow me on that channel. My vlog channel is a much less PG version of my main channel videos. My main best friends are on YouTube, and I'm always with them vlogging with them on that channel. It's not PG whatsoever. We roast each other. There's a lot of swearing. There's a lot of explicit content. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you go and subscribe. <laughs> right, I've got the fake Valenciaga shoe on and it fits really well and it seems to be comfortable. So yeah, here's me modeling the shoe for you right here. Feels solid, feels pretty good. As far as fake shoes go, genuinely, I am impressed. These are the Gucci's. These are the Gucci shoes, as you can see. So I myself do not own a pair of Gucci's. I have not reached that level of YouTuber quite yet. However, I've seen them on a lot of my YouTube friends, so I can compare them through, like, my head. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Alex, I need to, you to answer me now. <laughs> 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 
looking for Lewis once did a live stream and all of our numbers got leaked, a lot of gossip got spilled because it was like 3 o'clock in the morning in a hotel room. So yeah, I've just been getting random calls ever since. I feel like these are very noticeably fake. I just think they are. If I saw someone wearing these, I'd be like, yep, they're definitely fake. It's just a lot of things are very slightly off which add up to make a fake looking shoe. Like the front here is way too rounded. So one thing they have got right that I would have thought they would just not have done is they've got the red and green backs on the shoes. Also another massive telltale sign where I'd be like, yep, they are definitely fake. Is this side accent here. Um, that should be green and red with the B in the middle. If this ain't the most awkward position ever. <laughs> but yeah, um, they're not comfortable as well. They are really hard, like on the floor. I can literally feel every little thing inside this shoe. It's not padded whatsoever. Also, this front bit here would crease so, so fast because from literally putting it on, I can see exactly the places where it's starting to crease. So basically, these shoes would look absolutely battered after a few wears. Ugh, I hate how well they've packaged this. As you can see, these are the original Yeezy packaging. Looks real legit so far. You know, actually my friend Kami touched a light on YouTube, owns a pair of fake Yeezys, but they look so real, so I don't blame him. I feel like it is obvious that they're fake, and I'm pretty sure it's because the sole here comes up way too high. But the style of lace and the pattern is kind of legit looking. They've got the Adidas logo on the inside though. So the little branding watermark thing on the side is the exact same as the originals, maybe just a slightly more vivid red. That's so real looking. Oh no it's not. Oh no it's not. So on the originals, I'll insert a picture now. You can see that these stripes, like the zebra stripes, are kind of structured and there's obvious stripes on it. Whereas here it looks like black and white specks. It's not really a zebra stripe design whatsoever. Back to this position. These are, like, they are so comfortable and they fit really well. Oh, if these were just a normal shoe, I'd definitely wear them, but the fact that they are fake Yeezys and obviously fake Yeezys, my friends would never speak to me again. They are really comfortable because they don't have, like, a structured top. It's literally just, like, material, like, cotton-looking material. That's so comfortable. Oh, yes, hi, Mother. Just unboxing some genuine designer shoes. What brand are they? Cockroach. What's that insect? How does it feel to be uneducated? <laughs> <laughs> and are these supposed to be like the ones you've got? Like them. They're actually not bad, are they? No, they just feel a bit plastic. Yeah, they don't feel good quality. This one's really confused me because these are supposed to be shoes because this comes from the seller that I bought the Louboutins from. So yeah, I feel like it's going to be a letter being like, lol, you got scammed, teehee. Um, well, <laughs> if this ain't a meme of eBay, I'm pretty sure I paid about £10 for these. Can't, can't wait to wear them. Wow. What, what was, what was the listing title? I'm so confused. In other news, it's a really good quality poster. Like it genuinely is. I want to display this in my room. I have memories of myself in my room because I'm very narcissistic. That was the first non-self-deprecating joke I've made in a very long time. It's I love when he go on tour. And these the this is the final package and these are another pair of fake Yeezys because I remember I ordered two so they must be. And I love it when I receive my Yeezys in the mail in daisy packaging. Oh. <gasps> these Yeezys are so real looking compared to these Yeezys. So I bought the all black ones. That's horrible. That is actually disgusting. First of all, the side of the sole and the base is just straight down the whole way. Oh my god, I swear to god, if I end up on Yeezy Buster now from this video for wearing fake Yeezys. These are the shoes. Honestly, just no. But yeah, I've got a bed full of fake shoes right now and I don't really know what I'm going to do with them. I, I, actually, I do. Um, I just put them in a, I think it's like women's charity bag um, and it just goes to them because obviously there'll be people that'll get a lot more use out of the clothes than I ever will. So yeah, just so you know, I don't just waste them and throw them away. But that's also not me being like, oh, I like giving to charity. I'm like kind of a nice person. You should like subscribe. <laughs> it's just me sharing news, I guess. Um, anyway, I'm done now. Yeah, that's it for today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in a future video. And if there's any video that you do want to see in the future, leave it as a comment. But yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.